I understand. I am understanding. I have a new phone. I am having a new phone. I am having a good time. Why is I am understanding not correct? Why is I'm having a new phone not correct? But I'm having a good time correct. Today we're going to look at some really important verbs called stative verbs. Stative verbs are the opposite of action verbs, also called dynamic verbs. Let's look at them together. Before we look at stative verbs, let's take a moment to really clarify action, dynamic verbs. Drive, run, take, take a picture, play, play an instrument, teach, as in teach a lesson. These are action verbs, dynamic verbs. They're very physical, you use your body. Usually you can see the action happening. Stative verbs are more emotional, like, love, dislike, hate, prefer, want. These describe feelings, emotions. Stative verbs also describe things to do with our mind and our opinions. Understand, remember, believe, know, seem, agree, disagree. They also have to do with our senses. Smell, taste, Feel, hear, sound, see, and states. States are things that never change or will not change soon. State of verbs, very common ones are be and have. For example, I am American. This won't change. I have an older sister. This won't change. Okay, so now we're getting a good idea of what stative verbs are. Don't worry, in the description below, I have a link which will take you to my list of very common stative verbs. So, why is it important for me to know about stative verbs? Because stative verbs are not normally used in a continuous way. I am understanding this lesson. This bag is belonging to me. I've been believing in ghosts since I was a child. We can see the stated verbs understand, belong, believe. And these sentences aren't correct. We don't use stated verbs in a continuous way. I understand this lesson. This bag belongs to me. I've believed in ghosts since I was a child. Let's compare. I've been living here for a long time. Perfect. Live is an action verb. It can be used in a continuous way. I've been knowing Jim for a long time. No is stative, we don't use it in a continuous way. I've known Jim for a long time. So, some verbs can be stative and active. Let's take a look. You can see we have be, have, 
look, see, think, taste. These words can both be stative and action verbs, but the meaning changes. B. Stative. A state. This is the way something is. You are mean. This is how you always are. Action. A temporary emotion or quality. Why are you being so mean today? Are you okay? Have. Stative. Possession. I have three kids. Action. And experience. I am having a wonderful day. Look. Stative. The way something appears. Is that bread fresh? It looks a bit old. Action. To use your eyes. What are you looking at? C. Stative. Understand. So, we use infinitive after a modal. Oh, I see. Action. To be in a relationship. Are you seeing anyone at the moment? Yeah, actually, I'm seeing someone from work. Think. Stative. Your opinion. I think doing yoga is more fun than going to a gym. Action. In your mind, your thoughts. Hmm. I'm thinking about doing a first aid course. Taste. Stative. The flavor. Ooh, this chocolate tastes like strawberries. Action. Try new food to see if the flavor is good. Remember, the ing form isn't only a continuous tense. It can also be a gerund. I'm not good at remembering new vocabulary. Disagreeing with your colleagues can create a lot of stress. I never buy anything without knowing the price. Here we can see we have remembering, disagreeing, knowing. You know these three verbs are stative, but these sentences are correct. The ing form is a gerund. So, gerund is quite a big topic, but I have a video which you can look at. Ah, video magic. You can click on and learn more about gerunds. So, to answer the question finally, I understand or I am understanding. We know I understand is correct. Why? Because understand is stative. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon for another lesson.